Take a look. You could drive by it and you may never even notice it. This five-story fall tall war monument has stood near the corner of Woodward and State Fair for ages. Well now, after decades of neglect, this massive tribute to veterans is getting a new life as well as a new home. Rod Maloney live there tonight ahead of a very special announcement. Rod. Yeah, Karen, you know, this is one of those only on four stories that we can tell you about. It was 79 years ago that the World War I Memorial was actually installed here on Veterans Day. And it was about 60 years, 60 years ago that it started going downhill and falling into disrepair. Well, it's been a very long time and it's, uh, it's, it's had a rough go. But there was one veteran who lives in the neighborhood here who was dogged in his uh, pursuit of trying to make sure that the veterans who are honored here continue to be honored. Jutting roughly 40 feet in the air, bearing Civil War era insignias, what ought to be easily noticeable on one of Detroit's busiest street corners sits weather-worn and forlorn. The World War I monument's crown once burned 24-7, scrappers long since stole the copper gas line. You could see it all up and down Woolworth. Vietnam-era Air Force communication specialist Richard Chapman spent the last 11 years trying to get anyone with military concerns to restore this most important memorial. The World War II veterans maintain it. It started to go downhill during the Korean era. As a matter of fact, a Korean veteran got me involved when it really got into disrepair. Chapman started with former state Senator Virgil Smith, who spoke with outgoing floor leader Senator Mike Kowal. He actually grew up in the neighborhood. And I remember this in its heyday. Kowal brought as many veterans organizations as he could together, along with the new property owners, and succeeded in getting the governor to approve a spot inside Millican State Park on the Detroit River as the statue's new home. All this is just steeped in not just Detroit history, but Michigan history, and you know, in this region. It's just, it's just exciting to be part of this. I, I wish I could really describe how I feel. It's, I'm just ecstatic. Indeed they are. Now, no state money is going to this. They've gotten donations pulled together to make all of this happen. And they're going to make the official announcement at the, the uh, Veterans Day Parade this uh, weekend now. But they're also going to replace the gas flame when it goes down to the waterfront with an LED light and put flags around it and really make it a prominent place so that everybody can remember what this was meant for in the first place, which is to remember all of those people who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Back to you. Well deserved, Rod. I do have a question, though, in terms of the riverfront walkway, because it is so big. Do they know exactly where in Millican State Park it will go? You know, we don't know specifically where yet. They haven't made that decision. But I will tell you this. There are also Canadian uh, veterans of war also on the back side of the monument. So what they're going to do is they're going to take it and put the monument down so that the Canadian side faces Canada. They'll put a Canadian and American flag right next to it so that they can have the American and Canadian veterans right there on the river all being memorialized. So very important that this restoration is taking place. Thank you, Rod. Appreciate it.